In this video, I'm going to show you one of the simplest forms of an effective passing concept that is going to literally be able to attack pretty much every defense that you're going to face. Now, this comes out of the Indianapolis Colts playbook. If you'd like to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, I do believe it's one of the better passing offenses, if not the best passing offense in the game right now. You can get that entire offensive ebook and as well as a lot of other stuff uh, by becoming a Patreon member. It's only 10 bucks to do that and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. Now, this tight slot halfback week formation is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna give you a couple different audibles here today. The first one is Flood, it's the best play in the formation by far, we're gonna go over that today. Um, but also you've got Mesh Spot. And then another kind of sleeper play in the Colts book is this Bench play, which I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, in this as well. Um, and then, like I said, you have Flood and this X-Dig play. If you take a look at this X-Dig play, you're going to notice that this corner route on the right side is pretty much the same corner route as Bench. It's just a little bit shorter. Um, but really, the play we're going to be taking a look at today is Flood. And what makes this play so good, there's a lot of different things about this play that makes it good. Um, you have this nice, deep, skinny post from a slot position that's a really, really good route. You also have this corner route. And really what makes tight slots, I think, as a whole, like one of the better offenses in the game, is the fact that it is so consistent against man coverage. This corner route to A.J. Green, if you just run this corner route, it is going to consistently give you really good separation against man coverage. It does not matter if they have inside shade. It does not matter if they're cross. It does not matter. That route is really really powerful um specifically against man-to-man -man coverage so now that we have a man beater we want to turn our man beater into a zone beater and the best way to do that is to um attack on the short side of the field with a clear out streak that clear out streak is going to clear out any deep zone and then that corner route as it stands is also really good at getting over the top of cloud flat so if they were to go to cover four here you're going to notice that this corner route because we put a streak on the field now is going to have really really nice clear out and you can just throw that against cover four every single time you can also throw that against cover three every single time and so this kind of turns this left side of the formation into a formation that or into a play that kind of needs user attention they need to user the corner route in order to stop it um, there's really not a good way to stop it otherwise for example even if i go to cover two here you're going to notice that this play specifically in tight slots is another reason why it's so good vert hooks don't match properly against this formation and you can just freeform that up into the alley as you can see and it is just consistent every single time that is going to be able to beat zone it's one of the most consistent routes in this game and so basically what they have to do defensively is they have to user that so let's imagine that this middle linebacker is their user and he's going to go user um, that route on the left side now you have a couple of other things within this play that are makes that makes it really good one of those things is this flat route. You're gonna see this flat route attack the flat. If they're not playing hard flats, we can just throw our little flat route and take our um, five to 10 yards um, against against hard flats or against a, a defense that's not playing hard flats. So if they are playing hard flats, and again, I'm gonna illustrate kind of some of these adjustments here, but let's say that they are playing uh, hard flats on the side. Maybe they drop uh, this guy into the, into the hard flat area over on that side of the field then you're going to notice that now there's going to be another thing that's wide open on this play, and that is this little pocket right here for this tight end route. And that's what makes this play so good because it's so hard to stop all of the options that you have. And so now we kind of get into this little chess match here, but basically there's a couple of ways that we can attack that middle of the field where they're vulnerable on uh, defensively here. So obviously if they send any pressure at all, that's another thing that they have to watch out for. So like, let's say they send some, let's say for example, that they take the slot and they man him up on the, the running back. And then maybe on this outside, they do something like this and they roll the coverage, um, you know, and then, and then maybe they have like a little mid read over the middle of the field. This allows us to get into this additional setup that I have for this play, which is to basically put the tight end on a trail route, which is one of the best routes in the game, and then drag the first guy. So you still have that clear out space where you can throw that drag right in that little pocket right there. And then the beauty of the trail route is the trail route's fairly consistent at being able to attack man-to-man -man coverage, any kind of cross-man type stuff, that can attack that as well. Now again, like I said, they are gonna need to man this play, this route up to be able to take it away in main coverage. So if they do um, user the corner route and they have the running back manned up, now what we're able to do is maybe put this right side receiver on a slot apprentice post, which is one of the most consistent routes 
in the game this year at being able to attack man-to-man uh, -man coverage. So you can easily uh, set that route combo up as well. If they are running a lot of man, one of the other setups that I like to recommend is to take this um, tight end and put him on a little five-yard out route because um, it's one of the better routes against man, and then it provides a lot of space in the middle of the field for your slot apprentice post to be able to run. Now, um, another thing is if they're running this play or this defense, another cool thing you can do, especially if they start trying to really overcommit uh, to taking away the slot flood, uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to run the same thing, except now we're going to go to bench and we're going to put that inside slot receiver on a fade. And then on the right side, you can kind of, again, do whatever, however you want to do it. One of my favorite um, adjustments, like I said, is this trail concept. Um, another thing you can do is you can run this just like this just run the basic bench concept or you can put that little um that little uh post route and then you can take the running back and let's say for example that they're manning him up on the right or whatever what i like to do is put him on an in route and then put the have a little mesh underneath just like this but the beauty of this is you're still now the corner route is going to get open on the other receiver so if they're trying to just sit on that slot receiver you can then throw the other corner route so Tight slot setback week is incredibly effective, partially because of the fact that it's one of the most consistent formations, not only at being able to beat man coverage, but it's also really good at blocking any kind of pressure that your opponent might run. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below.